I give the floor to the distinguished representative of International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. President. At the 31st session of the Human Rights Council, Resolution 31-20 was adopted to establish the Commission for Human Rights in South Sudan. The evidence informing member states at the time was captured in a harrowing report by the Office of the High Commissioner, including intimidation and attacks against human rights defenders, journalists and other civil society actors. Mr. President, sadly, the status of human rights defenders in South Sudan remains unchanged, especially in areas such as Greater Equatoria, where violence continues to prevail. ISHR welcomes your announcement, Mr. President, of last week as to the appointment of the three members uh, to serve on the Commission on Human Rights in South Sudan, namely Yasmin Suka from South Africa, Kenneth Scott from the USA and Godfrey Muzila from Kenya. We specifically call on the chairperson, Ms. Suka, to ensure that their fact-finding mission adequately investigates the situation of civil society organizations in general and human rights defenders in particular. The work of defenders is crucial to peace, security, sustainable development and a democratic future for South Sudan. It is also imperative that the Commission take all such steps that are necessary in a concrete and visible manner to protect those who engage with it and prevent and promote accountability for acts of intimidation or reprisal. ISHR looks forward to the Commission's report uh, scheduled to be presented as a comprehensive written report at the 34th regular session in March of next year. We also reiterate the call on the transitional government to avoid delays in establishing the hybrid criminal court and other key institutions mandated by the peace agreement. Lastly, we look forward to South Sudan's strong support for and co-sponsorship of the civil society space resolution being considered at this 32nd session. Thank you, Mr. President.